All right, time to talk winners and losers on Wall Street with financial expert Rob Black joining us this morning as we're looking at uh, a Wednesday. Rob, and what do you see on the markets this morning? Yeah, it's kind of like we're waiting to see what the Fed has to say later in the day around 11 a.m. our time. Will they cut interest rates in September? That's the expectation, 100%. Yeah. If they don't, the markets are going to go a little loco in the cocoa. Today, <laughs> we're seeing Target up 15%. They say theft is going down. They think they have a handle on it. Okay. Revenue and earnings beat expectations. Macy's down 12%. So Target winner up 15. Macy's loser. Does that tell you more people looking for discounts these days? Yeah, and I, I only go to Macy's now like if there's a funeral. Like if I need wow. a jacket to fit, like I, I don't like going to the stores. Amazon wins because I don't like, Rob doesn't like leaving home. And again, it's not about me, it's about the trends. Right. Um, so that, those are your stories today. Market's doing okay, just waiting. Interesting, it's, it's okay. Very good I've, I, I found this kind of interesting. I see here this headline about TikTok now allowing uh, alcohol advertisers on their platform. That's new. Yeah, cheers, right? Yeah. Um, so they've kind of snuck in some like alcohol clothing and some alcohol, you know, advertising that's not alcohol. Um, but TikTok is opening it up for people over 25 and older, $1.7 billion that alcohol companies spend on advertising a year. I remember going to like sporting events, hockey games where there wasn't alcohol. And then suddenly the NFL, the NHL, Major League Baseball, all started letting spirits advertise because the money, James, yeah. follow the money, right? Absolutely. Okay, let's talk a bit about our first official story before we run out of time, which is the fact that consumers, I guess, uh, are putting off home improvement projects. The DIY thing is hitting, what, Home Depot, Lowe's? Or is it Home Depot primarily that we're seeing numbers from? Home Depot and Lowe's. Yeah. Um, now, we're still going and buying our 12-foot tall skeletons, but we're not doing the do-it-yourself improvements. Mm. Um, in large part, James, because we have mortgages at 3 to 4%, and to do the do-it-yourself projects that cost 100000 most people refinance, and they don't want to lose that locked-in loan. Uh. This is the first time in 10 years that remodeling has gone down in a quarter. Um, so it's Lowe's and Home Depot. Do-it-yourselfers make up about 75% of their business. Uh, I haven't done a home improvement in a year, so I'm part of this trend as well. It's a $450 billion a year uh, business. Home improvement down 7% year over year. Um, projects over $1,000 are down 6% year over year. Mm -hmm. So fewer housewarming parties if you're going to be you know, throwing paint on the walls and buying a new home. Um, home prices are down as well, or not home prices, but home purchases are down. So right. also equals less furniture. So companies like Wayfair say that they're having a nosedive in, in revenues. Now, here's the thing. Yeah. That's the time to buy the stocks because going back to the Fed Reserve, they're cutting interest rates. Yeah. September and December in 2025. Therefore, maybe this time next year, we'll be doing the home improvement uh, jobs, James. Because as they drop rates, then mortgage rates go down, then people refinance to get that money out to do these home improvement projects. I see where you're going with that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and then our last story this morning, you were very prescient because a while back you were saying a lot of these pharmaceutical companies that are putting out these drugs for diabetes are yep. seeing these other effects as well in terms of like weight loss too. And so it was an important sector to keep your eye on. And I guess now we've got Eli Lilly making headlines. Their latest offering, I guess, is pretty effective. Yeah, it's not even so much latest offering. It's that another study on their old offering, Mongerno and Zepbound, find that pre-diabetics, I've been pre-diabetic. I know people at Cron have been pre-diabetic. I'm among them. By, who, who beat it by losing weight. Yeah. Um, turns out losing weight's great. Eli Lilly, Zepbound, and Mongerno um, creates a 94% chance of losing weight. 94% people um, lose 22.9% of their body weight over three years. 94% doctors love numbers like that. So it's wow. Zepbound and Moderno. Um, on top of this, you know, the placebo is only about 2.1% lose the weight. So the drugs work. Um, it's worthy of note that diabetes and prediabetes is big business. Um, 900 million people worldwide are prediabetic. One in three uh, Americans are prediabetic. So I've lost 20 plus pounds on a diet and exercise. And if not, James, next year I'm taking Mongerno and Zepbound. Right. So if I can't keep the weight off, I got to do it because I'm at risk of a heart attack. I'm yeah. at risk of diabetes, yeah. things that cost money and that kill you early.
Yeah, I remember. Yeah, you've got family history. It's something we all need to watch. I do as well. So I'm in that same camp. We'll see where this world research changing goes. drugs. Yeah, world right? changing drugs. This is right. The biggest story of my lifetime. Definitely a sector to keep watching, Rob. Thank you as always. And we're going to chat with Rob again tomorrow. So if there's a company or a, a whole sector like diabetes drugs and, and weight loss that you want him to pick apart for us, let him know. You can reach him on social media. You've got his handles there. You can also email him directly if you just want to go back and forth with him, rob at robblack.com.